Alrighty, what's popping in today's video? I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to get cheat codes and basically how to set them up on your custom firmware switch for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now this process is fairly simple and easy. Obviously you're gonna need a custom firmware switch, access to Edison and atmosphere. You're basically gonna need those three things. And if you have those three things, um, just follow me and this process should be very simple and easy. First things first, I'm going to send you guys a link to the GBA temp um, site. This is where you get the cheats. And when you get here on page one, you're going to get this. It's going to come as a, a raw file. So you need something like 7-zip or a WinRAR. And then next, you're going to need to head over to page nine. Showcase you guys. Page nine. And then when you get to page nine, you're gonna get this um, text document. And then after you do that, you're gonna minimize your page. You're gonna drag and drop both of these. Now, before you enter your custom firmware switch, you're gonna open up this one right here, the raw file. Close that up. I'm gonna drag and drop this, close that out. We're gonna delete this because we don't need this anymore. Put this up a little bit, and then double click cheats, and then right here, you're basically gonna delete it because this is the outdated one, and the one we got on page nine is the more up to date one. If you're playing, I believe this was for version 1.1 going on up, I believe. It may not work for older versions, so if you're watching this video later on, it may not work. And you need to be browsing around the page because for some reason, the main person that makes the page does not update their cheats. When you have a GBA temp cheat page, you is your main priority as the page creator to update the cheats. And that person doesn't do that. So it's kind of a little bit disorganized, but if you're browsing around the pages, you should be all right, generally. All right, so we're gonna head to our custom firmware drive. Like I said earlier, um, we're gonna click on atmosphere, go to context, and you're basically gonna drag and drop this. Hold on, I'm gonna drag and drop it. Basically, you replace that, and you're basically all set to go. Um, after that, I'm going to have to explain this due to the fact that I cannot show any sort of type of switch UI, switch gameplay, because if I do, the, this video will get claimed by Nintendo. And they, over the years, they've been I'm my channel like a hawk. So when I do stuff like this, it gets claimed very easily. So I'm going to explain it. It's fairly simple and easy. Like I said earlier, if you guys have Edison, you guys are all good. If you guys follow all my steps that I showed you guys earlier and you have Edison, part of your, um, your custom firmware switch, this should, this should be simple. After that, you should boot up um, your switch, obviously on custom firmware mode. And then after you do that, you boot up Tears of the Kingdom. And then you load up Tears of the Kingdom, make sure you go in game. And then when you're in game, make sure you press um, the home button and head over to the album page or whatever way you um, boot up your custom firmware apps. Most 90% of people is through the album page. So you go to the album page and then your custom firmware apps boot up and then you load up Edison while the game is still on. And then you basically um, checkbox the cheat you want. Like say, for example, it's infinite help. You check box infinite help and then you press the home screen and then you go back to the game. And after that, the cheat should work. Like I said earlier, I cannot show gameplay. Each time I show gameplay, that part of the video gets um, claimed and I have to cut it out and it's it just mess up the whole video. So me explaining it is much more better. 
and I explain it as easily as possible I can. Even probably a six-year-old can understand this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you basically get set up cheat codes for the Legend of Zelda Tears in the Kingdom if you have a custom firmware, custom firmware switch. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Bertone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.